getting ready to play Alabama? Um, same as every week, man. Obviously, it's a different opponent, different type of uh, caliber team than we faced last week. Um, but the same, come in, prepare the same, work hard every day, win your one-on-ones day by day. Scheme-wise, what kind of stands out with what their defense does? Um, I mean, it's the same thing. Uh, as, as our defense run, I think, I mean, they got a little bit of four down, a little bit of three down. Uh, but, I mean, scheme-wise, I don't I, – we only watched them just today. Does, does that similarity help at all? Yeah, it definitely helps uh, knowing, like, what reads and things like that. You guys talk about playing – just playing up to the – not, you know, treating every opponent the same. Is that easier said than done this week because it is Alabama and they're, you know, who they are? I mean, like I said, no matter the opponent, you got to come in and prepare the right way to go out there and perform on Saturday. So, I mean, yeah, it's Alabama, but we're going to prepare the same. Nothing should change. Rico, everybody got to get some touches last week. How much do you think that helps prepare all of you guys for potential action this week? Um, it's great. It's always great when you get multiple guys out there on the field uh, to see what they can do. Um, so if anything was to happen, your coach has confidence in you. Um, he should have confidence in everybody in the room to go out there and do their job. In a game that was pretty out of hand. You know, you and Tavian took a seat pretty early. How did you guys react to that? I mean, did you kind of understand because of the situation? That the oh, yes, yeah, most definitely. Uh, he came, coach came to me right after halftime and said I was done. Um, but, yeah, uh, Definitely understand the situation, uh, and it's great, uh, obviously, to get to go out there and watch other guys go out there and have fun. Did you ever, did you watch the 2010 game? How old were you at that point? 2010, I was like what, 12. Um, I don't think I, I don't think I watched it. I can't remember. Do you remember what you were doing that day? Nah, no. Uh, probably. <laughs> I might have missed it, but uh, what what is stuck in that? What stuck out to uh, to you guys when you're watching that Alabama film, that first two games? I mean, they're very good from front to back. Uh, obviously, they got very talented guys, but I haven't, we haven't watched much of them um, yet. We just watched them today, a couple of things that they do. Um, I know more about them tomorrow and the next day. The fact they've been the SEC standard for the most part, since, especially since Saban took over. What's it like going up against that opponent in your house? You know, I would think that's what you, what you oh, signed up. That's great. Uh, that's what we come here to do, go against the top competition. Um, obviously, the game is on the national stage, so it, it's very great having the opportunity to go out there and perform against these guys. Team that is historically pretty good at being able to, uh, you know, rush the path, rush the quarterback. Um, if, I think if we can get the um, run going, uh, it helps with a lot. Uh, it helps the pace of the game. Helps us kind of have control. Uh, I think the run game is going to be one of the key uh, components to this game. And I think that in order for us to do what we need to do, we have we need to have an effective run game. What did Brian show you? show you guys last week? Uh, showed me a lot. Honestly, y'all seen him just like I did. He went out there. He had a very great day. and uh, Coming back in, just got to go out there and do it again week to week. Did that increase the confidence that you guys on offense had in him? Uh, yes. Uh, I mean, we've always been confident in him since we've seen him, since he's been here in the spring, going through camp. I mean, we've always been confident in him. And I guess like it's just the same. Is it a different situation now that you guys know, hey, Jake's out for the year? Uh, yes, uh, we kind of knew uh, before coming in that it was a possibility, so we've been preparing as if it was going to happen, either way it went. But, um, I mean, same thing. We got all the confidence in the world and Ryan. How much of a difference in the offensive line did you see last Saturday as compared to the week, first week? Um, obviously, it was a lot of movement. Uh, a lot of holes opened up and a lot of yards, honestly. You've seen a lot of rushing yards, so it was it was a big difference. Rico, what's Charleston Southern? Yeah. Did you guys take confidence from playing so, uh, such a dominant game? Uh, yes, obviously. Uh, you, it gives us confidence. We accomplished all our goals, 60 and 600. Uh, that was our goals. Mm -hmm. And we're going to come in and try and do the same this week. We <laughs> have the same goals every week. we got to chart with our team goals on it. And Rico, what's the, main, I'm sorry, what's oh, the main could. difference in the offenses now, you know, under Jake and, and, and Ryan? Where, where Where is the biggest difference, you think? Yeah. I mean, we're doing the same. Nothing's changed. I mean, it's just a new guy and a quarterback, man down, man up. I mean, nothing's really changed. We still have all our same goals, like I said, and same, same everything. I mean, speaking of quarterbacks, quarterback. yeah. Speaking of quarterbacks, uh, do you know how to pronounce Tua's last name? No, I don't. <laughs> I don't know how to give it a shot. Uh, no. Nah. <laughs> yeah, uh, Rico, uh, how, how have you seen Jake kind of react to getting sort of that? final news and, and if you talk to him at all about it? Um, obviously, Jake's a very strong person. I hate it for him. And, uh, but he's been to every meeting and he's taking it how he's, how he's supposed to take it. Uh, you can't, you can't, just can't get down on yourself, obviously, dealing with injuries and 
just got to keep going and going to get better each day. And like I say, he's taking it very well, handled it very well, still in all the meetings, still being vocal as much as he can be when he's around the building and things like that. What do you guys expect to try to run the ball a lot this week to establish a run? Is that going to be a big part of the game plan? Uh, yes, maybe, uh, you know, coming in, we got a new quarterback, like you said. You never know. Uh, they might try some different things or whatnot, but I think we we will try and run the ball. Seeing Kevin Harris out there at fullback a little bit on Saturday against Charleston Southern, what what does he kind of give to that spot? How much have y'all seen from uh, him in that, that type of role? Uh, I was, we have different packages, yeah. obviously, uh, but – like I said, the guy's a 600-pound squatter. And obviously, he can honestly do more. And um, like Squat I said, more than 600? Yeah, he definitely can. Um, but like I said, a powerful guy, just leading up through that hole, getting carries, going through the hole, whatever, blocking or running, um, very powerful and short yardage, so very dependable guy. Do we expect to see him on the field a little bit more but after what he did? Um, that's not my decision, and honestly, I don't know. That's all the coach's decision. Have you watched the 2010 game at all, or have you heard from any of the players from that 2010 team? Um, I've, I've watched the highlights on YouTube, but that's about it. What were your impressions? Um, I think on all the third downs, when I, I think I watched like I watched a little bit of it. They was getting all the third downs on the first drive and stuff like that, and they was executing very well. Obviously, um, just like we need to do, we need to go out there and execute in, in order to have a chance to win this game. Has that game been talked about by the coaches at all? No, no, That's no. Too far, too long. not at all. Is Alabama the kind of team that you sort of have to change things up against, do do some weirder stuff, trick plays, t tweak tempo, that kind of stuff, just to sort of or or can you just say, we'll, we'll sort of play our game? We're going to, like I said, we're going to go out there. No matter the opponent, we're going to go out there and do what we do. And, uh, you know, you have different wrinkles and things based off what they do. Um, you feel me? Mm -hmm. um, things like that, you have different things that we're trying to do and execute in order for our plays to work. But, I mean, we go out there, you prepare, we're preparing the same. We're going to go out there with the same approach like we do every game. Go out there, play fast, smart, and physical, and trying to get things done. The 2010 game was an upset, but Carolina was ranked 19th. Do you allow yourself to think what would be the result if you guys could pull this off? Um, I mean, I'm not really uh, worried about it. Like I said, we're just going to go out there and do what we can do. Um, like I said, I think we can match up with any team. Obviously, we, we I think we match up from top to bottom with any team uh, in the trenches, skill, skill positions, offense and de offensively and defensively. I think we can match up with anybody. Um, so it'll be inter pretty interesting to see the results. It'll play out on Saturday. Appreciate it, Rico.